So look, uh, we're having fun here. You know us. We're not joking or goofing or clowning. Uh, if I was your coach, I would say you're a veteran of almost 20 fights, and I'd go, look, when you're winning, you're knocking fools out. So let's keep that boxing sharp for sure. And I would say uh, I'm not sure if you're much of a, of a kick guy, you know, or whatever, but let's make sure you have solid kicks so you can take out the the opponent's front leg. Um, but for sure, let's keep your legs. Sh- your and then uh, when you've lost, it's really because you're going to um, let me see the decision. You're on top of your strength and conditioning. I guess the only other thing I'd say is let's just keep working submission defense. Is is that kind of like how your camp went? Like almost how I described it? Yeah, it's definitely you know something I work on it after every fight and watching every fight. Most of my losses have been either by submission or decision. Yeah, uh, so you're not getting outstruck. That's for sure. That, yeah, yeah. It's most of the guys don't, you know, either want to take me down or try to submit me, if, especially if it's in the later rounds. But um, I definitely try to work on my, you know, jiu-jitsu and wrestling and, and cardio to push that last couple of rounds that I need to to win, especially if I don't knock them out in the first round. Francisco, I know you don't want to overlook your opponent. I know he's your focus right now. But when George was talking about some of the losses, the one that kind of stuck out to me was that Uriah Faber, I still feel like that needs to be redone at some point. Do you feel like uh, at some point that can happen? Well, you know, I tried to make it happen again. Uh, it didn't work out. So, you know, if it happens, it happens. But I doubt he wants to fight me again. So I doubt the UFC wants to let us fight again. So, you know, let's pass that now. But if we ever do come across again and have a chance to fight each other again, I definitely would like to, to fight him again and kind of finish the last two rounds that we had going. Hey, let me so chime in. Be a, a, let, let me chime in on that as well, goes, and then you can finish up your questions. When Faber versus Rivera got announced, a lot of people on the UG and some of the forums I visit actually thought it was Francisco getting the second run. He's actually facing Jimmy Rivera uh, at a card down the road. I don't know which one it is. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people were like, fuck, yeah, good. Good for San Francisco because it felt like there was some unfinished business there. So I know, totally. Francisco, your your main concern is Eric Perez. But just know there's a lot of fans that would like to see you in favor down the road if they can make it happen. A lot of people feel just like you. Like, you know, that that night didn't uh, – there wasn't a, a conclusion reached. Yeah, definitely. Even Fox Sports One uh, announced it and had my picture up and had highlights of our of our uh, last fight of the hope. And then they were talking about the eye poke and everything. So they had already announced it as me fighting him in the rematch. So it was uh, getting a lot of messages and your Twitter was funny and stuff. So it was it was it was funny. Yeah. 